well. As of today, November 13th, 2017, the deal is made. Amazon is turning The Lord of the Rings into a multi-season television series to the tune of $200 or $250 million. On top of that, it's set to be a prequel to The Lord of the Rings. Here's the official press release. Set in Middle-earth, the television adaptation will explore new storylines preceding J.R.R. Tolkien's The Fellowship of the Ring. The deal includes a potential additional spin-off series. So what does that mean? Will Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit be the protagonist? The Hobbit movie certainly didn't do as well as the original movie trilogy, so that could be a really bad move. A sequel series describing events after Return of the King may have been more supple and interesting, but at least a prequel series doesn't have to touch on beloved characters like Aragorn and Gimli and try to fill very big shoes with new actors. Either way, we can officially count out a remake series of the original movies at least, but there's still a ton of source material from Tolkien that is on the table here. The Silmarillion again comes to mind, but it's a very cryptic and dense book. It reads very similar to the Bible with O V and with V and such. Another thing to ponder is if Tolkien's estate involvement here helps push the series closer to the original source work than Jackson's interpretation, which they publicly did not like. Either way, the powerhouse Amazon probably has no issue shelling out the 200 plus million to earn the rights to the series, nor will they have a problem shelling out the estimated 100 million per season. Will this persuade you to get Amazon Prime? Who would you like to see play Bilbo or your other favorite characters? My personal choice for Bilbo is Danny DeVito. He's short, hobbit-like in nature anyways, and just has the aura of someone who would live in a shack in New Zealand. Actually, on that note, if the entire cast of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia was in the show, it probably just increased my chances of watching it. It could even open a crossover series. But getting back to the topic on hand, do you think anyone will reprise their role? Do you think the show will fail? Will it still try to sneak in sensual love scenes and try to feed off the Game of Thrones fanbase? I still personally think Sam and Gold had a very forbidden love-hate relationship going on, but that's just me. Alright folks, we're doing a gift card giveaway on this channel. We're giving away Android gift cards, iTunes gift cards, and Amazon gift cards. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell button to turn notifications on, and comment your opinion on the Lord of the Rings TV show in the comments below.